Hi guys, Todd here. Today, today we're looking at something from Italy. Uh, it, it, Sunbox, game over, version three. Single 18650, it's got a MOSFET in it, Bomber Pro. No, it's got a special name, this one, which I'll remember before this video is over, or I'll get into trouble for getting the name wrong. Anyway, you are looking about the 270 to, between 270, 300 euros, I think it is. Uh, and the one I have here is, uh, it's got the, the nylon 3D printed body. We've got stainless steel 316 top and bottom caps. Uh, it comes with a new cappy bottle. You can buy this online from several stores. It's not one of these ones you have to hang about and grab off a Facebook group. And I've... <laughs> I really like this. Um, I, I don't know much in Italian. I know a couple of words. Bella and Bella. Um, if you've never seen Gregory's Girl, that's not funny. If you've seen Gregory's Girl, you'll know why I'm laughing. Anyway, uh, yes, this is actually very well done. This is very well done, this, and it is a very comfortable mod to vape with. Um, I think we're just going to jump straight into this one. I will say, however, uh, before I go on, there are other bodies. I'm not sure what the pricing is in the other bodies. Uh, there's another nylon one. It's 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 like, like full of holes. Uh, I'll, I'll pop this up just now, a picture of that. But there are also um, stab wood, wood bodies available as well. Uh, now, I, I'm not sure how this is going to work. I don't know if you, you know, you can you can separate this, you can take it to bits. I'm not sure if they're going to sell the bodies separately, so you can do like um, the Mod Dog with the Pulsar. You know, you could go and buy the body separately. It would be great if they did that with this, but um, if you know, then uh, pop a comment below the video and, um, and share that information. However, enough waffling close-ups. Now the presentation on this is outstanding. Uh, we have a, a, a big box here, huge box. Inside that box you're going to find a, a towel. Uh, a towel, it's got sunbox embroidered on one end, this embroidered on the other end, and uh, when I say it's a towel, it's, it's like a, a microfiber cloth. You also get a pouch as well for carrying your mod in, and it does come with a lanyard on it so you can actually hang it around your neck. You get spare o-rings, you get the uh, allen keys, you get a little authenticity card here. It's telling me this is the pro version. And if I go digging further here, you can see that it gives you all the information on the MOSFET that is inside this mod. So you can see there the cutoffs, reverse battery protection, short protection, it, it's all there. I also got uh, three, I think it was three. I got three battery wraps with mine as well. And I'm pretty sure you'll get them. And by the time you've gone through that lot, uh, you will eventually find a mod, which looks a little bit like this. Now, I, I will, I'm just going to come right out and say it. When I saw this at first, I unboxed it, um, I didn't like it. Uh, I have never ever been a fan of the exposure up here on any mod. And I know that, uh, you know, the, the, those crazy Italians kind of like this sometimes, and they have this. Uh, I know RSS have done it in the past, uh, Renato, but I've never ever been a fan of seeing this bottle here. But uh, after spending some time with it, the actual design of the mod, you know, the stainless steel here, 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 and I'm actually do now like this. But when I got it out of the box, I was a bit, uh, but it's grown on me, and I do actually like the look and styling of this device. Height-wise, you're looking about 78 millimetres. It's about 48.50 at its widest point. And if we turn it up the top here, it's round about 24 millimetres across here. The 510, it is a manual 510. So it's if you want to adjust, if you want to raise or lower this, you have to get your Allen key in there and make manual adjustments. The bomber that's in here is the same that I did show off. It's much the same as the one I showed off that did for the Pulsar mod. Was that the Project 3, if I remember right? So, you know, you've got the... Well, I'll show you it. But you've got a light show going on here. You know, you can do three clicks on off. You can do five clicks. Switch the light show off and on. It's... Uh, I've not had any issues. It's been working great. 
The finishing with the stainless steel is done really well. The same on the tube and the base here. I have no issues with the battery cap. It's all good. It really has been good. Uh, the body here is a nylon. It's like a 3D print, but it's it's done very, very well. To get the bottle out, this is their brand new cap Capi? Capi version 5, I think it is. Uh, that You use the a Rapido uh, system. So you just stick your finger in there and just go, boink. And there you go. It's just popping out. It's 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 just a, a a doddle, as we say here. There's some good Scottish terms for you. A doddle. So yes, it is the V5. I know this because it's written all over it. Um, so uh, this is stainless steel 316 up the top here, and it just you know you can see you've got O-rings going on there, and this just slides onto it. The this bottle is really really nice. Uh, the threading on this, it just feels quality. It really does feel like a quality bottle and I've had no issues with it whatsoever. I will say when you are spending um, close to 300 euros, uh, I would like to see a spare bottle. Maybe not, you know, the full you no know, stainless steel bit at the top, but just maybe just the plastic bit, you know, if that's replaceable, uh, I think that would be good. But, um, no, I can't fault the bottle as such. Now, because I'm in one of these moods, I think that we shall, uh, what will we do? We'll grab an Allen key. It's not that one. It must be this one. And, and it's good that they include these tools. Uh, right, here we go. So we've just got two Allen keys to undo, or Allen heads to undo here. Now, when you do these back up, please don't go, you know, over tightening them or anything like that. You don't want to strip anything here. So that's me undone there. So I should just be able to pull that out like that. There we go. I think the battery tube comes out as well. Yep, it does. <laughs> there we go. Uh, we've got a little o-ring in there. So that's that's down the bottom, o-ring down to the bottom, I think. And then we should just be able to pull this off here. And you can see that this, I mean, this is clean. This, I have credit where it's due. This is actually very, very clean and well done this. Uh, I've not had any issues whatsoever. It's performed well. I don't notice any voltage drop or anything like that. It's got all the protection built in that uh, you would expect from a MOSFET. And uh, yeah, it's good. This little guy here is, is this, this weighs next to nothing. Uh, I do like that, you know, you've got the game over going on there. That is quite nicely done. And that's about it for the body. I really would. I mean, I should have asked and uh, I'll see the main man when I go to Stuttgart, but uh, I'd, it'd be great if you could buy these bodies by themselves. Just going to fill the bottle up. I'm going to use some Regency Miranda, which is uh, it's a creamy lemon tart. Uh, and uh, I'll put a link in the description if you want to know where to buy it. Plug, plug. Screw this back together. I'm honest. I, I don't. I'm not making this up. I'm not saying this for effect. But uh, like like most people that watch my videos, I, I've used many squonk bottles. But this stainless steel system up here at the top just feels really really nice. Then just grab it, pop it in there, and that's it. That's you done. Now the nice thing about this body is that this piece here, uh, you, when you're holding this, it just your finger just sits in there like that, or that finger sits in there like that. Uh, but we'll talk about that more when we go back up top. Now I've given you the specs on the MOSFET already, but uh, I will say that uh, this MOSFET is also coated. So if you do get any liquid going down through here, it should not auto fire or give you any issues. Battery goes a positive up. I have no issues with the battery cap. Um, I just, you know, I got big fat pudding fingers, so I can just, you know, the fat off my finger in there and just turn it and, and that's it. And it's the same undoing it. No issues. So I've adjusted the 510 and I've got my Skyfall on top of here. Uh, once I get the 510, manually adjust and it is not reverse threaded. Uh, now I've covered this before in a previous video, but uh, nothing happening here just now. Three clicks, one, two, three. It won't go on. I have the worst luck with this. It was the same with the Project 3. There we go. Three quick clicks and she's on. Fire away. No problem. Now. You can see I've got no lights here just now, but if I, one, two, three, four, five. Now when I push fire, but I usually just switch that off. And that's me all done. Right, let's go up top, have a vape, and I'll let you know what I think.
Now regarding the board, I think the minimum resistance you can build to is 0.15. Obviously your limiting factor there is going to be your battery as well. So please, you know, double check and see what your battery is capable of. But that's how far down you can build. Also, you will get a warning about three volts about, uh, you know, it's telling you that your battery is, uh, you know, it's reaching that level. You should know anyway, you'll feel it in the vape. And I think it's about 2.65 that it just cuts off altogether. That's under load. So um, it's, yeah, it's a MOSFET. Uh, so, but it does have some trick features, but just remember, it's just a MOSFET. The quality, the build quality in this, right, the presentation, we'll start with the presentation. The way it came, I was actually very, very surprised uh, by the presentation. I've never had a, a Sunbox from brand new, uh, but when I started getting all the little bits and bob, the fact the tools were supplied with it, um, the fact that it came with the pouch and the microfiber towel and the bot, it, it's very well done, which it should be for the price. But you don't always see that at this price point. You still just get mods rocking up in a little jiffy bag. So yeah, kudos for that one. Um, also, I didn't like it. I said that in the close-ups, I think. When I opened it, I really did not like this exposed piece here. Uh, when I saw the photos before it arrived, I don't know what I'm going to do in the review because I don't like it. I just think as a whole now after spending time with it this has grown on me and also the you know just for the rapido juice release system like that is it works well i, I, I can't take that away from it it works well um, now the stainless steel tube runs down to the bottom here if you've used any squonking system that has a stainless steel tube running down the bottom I have always found, and this is with all of them, that um, obviously you can't squeeze the bottle all the way in. You know, it's it's obviously the, the pipe's coming, it's down halfway down the bottle, or it's sitting in the middle of the bottle. So you can't give it quite as much pressure as you would with some other squonk bottles. Uh, also, I do notice that uh, when the level gets down two thirds down, uh, you do have to squonk a little bit longer to get just to go up to the top. Um, but that's just it's something I'm used to now and it's something that I can live with on a daily basis. It's just another one of these things that you, things I've come across whilst using it that just may be important to you when it comes to buying these things. The fit and finish is the, the print quality is it's as good as anything I've seen. It really is, it's very, very good. Uh, the the soldering on the board, the connections and everything, um, I, I can't fault again. Um, the, there's no, I've, when it originally arrived, I will say this, that uh, there were little gaps here and here, uh, but uh, when I took it to bits and put it back together, I just, maybe it wasn't just wasn't torqued down far enough, uh, but now there's no daylight shown through there at all. There's nothing, it's perfect. It's all very pretty and it's all well done and everything, uh, but there is the part of me that thinks that I do wish it came with just a, not the full spare bottle, but even just a spare, you know, plastic piece. If that is available by itself, rather than buying the entire bottle, I think that would have been a nice to have. Um, obviously you've got the 510, which is, you know, it's a manual operation and not everybody likes that. It doesn't bother me. But really at the end of the day, where this thing really does excel is just, see your finger sitting in there. It's just, and the, it's really good. It's, it's really good. I, I am on, on this one being, you have the price point, you can either afford it or you can't. It's in your budget or it isn't. You can buy it. You, you can go to a shop and buy it online. They're available. It's really comfortable to vape with. It uh, You can switch on and off. You have protection built in there. It's, I don't have any negatives as such to give you. Uh, maybe the whole squonking thing when the juice drops down to a certain level and it's a bit slower, that would be my only negative that I could really give it. And, and that's at a reach. I'm stretching on that one. <laughs> I'm not going to lie. I'm surprised how much I like this. I really am. I'm, I'm very surprised. But 
this is a, a nice, nice mod. Obviously, if you do not like the, the 3D print thing going on here, the nylon print, uh, then you do have the stab wood thing available as well. Uh, I'm not sure on the pricing on them, however. And there is, you know, there's there's a Sunbox and I am, there, there's a massive, you know, they've got so many mods out that uh, go and have a look. Go and have a look in their Facebook page and their store and so on. I'll put links in the description and, uh, and that's it. That's all I've got for you. I will also say before I go, uh, this I've got the grey here. It does come in other colours as well. It's not just that colour. Sometimes there's when you get a mod, you just have to call it as you see it. And I think I've, I've given you the negatives that I can find, and they're like this. There, there's there's not many. Um, and I can't make stuff up or, or anything like that just for drama's sake. So, yeah two thumbs up. Uh, thank you to the main man for sending this on to me. I did get this free to review to you guys as always and I can't say this enough. Thank you so so much for watching and until next time, bye for now.